Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the Winter's Tale and we get to hear from Paulina again today in Act 3, Scene 2. So this is the scene where Hermione was put on trial for crimes that she didn't commit and she was actually acquitted by the Oracle at Delphi and by pretty much everybody who's been watching the trial except for Leontes who was judge, jury, and executioner. And he decided that he wasn't going to listen to what the Oracle had to say and uh, as he was tirading against his wife, a messenger came in and told him that his son was dead, which caused his wife to pass out. She was taken into a different room to be tended to, and Leontes had a change of heart at this moment where he realized that the death of his son and the passing out of his wife was because he went against what the god Apollo said, so he decides that he will repent and make it up to his wife and really, really, really make it up to Camillo. But then Paulina came in yesterday full of rage and fury because when they took Hermione off stage, she died. So in addition to all of the other things that Leontes has done wrong, including accusing Polixenes and accusing Camillo and sending his baby daughter out into the wilderness to fend for herself, he's now also caused the death of his wife because of these ludicrous imaginings that he's had going on. So she's, she's just ripping into him and ripping into him, but because he had his change of heart before, he responds by saying, like, yeah, I deserve that. Like, please, yeah, I deserve that. Give me more. But one of the lords steps up and is like, um, be careful. That is the king that you're talking to, and nobody should ever talk to the king like that. And Polina says, I am sorry for it. All faults I make, when I shall come to know them, I do repent. Alas, I have showed too much the rashness of a woman. He is touched to the noble heart. What's gone and what's past help should be past grief. Do not receive affliction at my petition. I beseech you, rather, let me be punished that have minded you of what you should forget. Now, good my liege, sir, royal sir, forgive a foolish woman. The love I bore your queen. Lo, fool again. <laughs> I'll speak of her no more, nor of your children. I'll not remember you of my own lord who is lost to. Take your patience to you and I'll say nothing. So as a proper person should, when she's called out for being rude, she apologizes <laughs> instantly. Uh, that's, yeah, that's all this is, is. She's apologizing. She says that she was too rash and too harsh and she can see that he is sorry for what he's done, and that is what she wanted, was for him to be sorry for what he did. So she, she apologizes, and she catches herself. She almost goes so far as to say, you know, the love that I bore to your wife, the queen, made me do this because I'm so upset at her passing. But she catches herself in, in the, like, I don't need to rub salt in this wound sort of place, and she's like, I, I won't talk of her anymore. I won't talk of your kids anymore. None of that. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll shut up now. And Leontes has a response, which is tomorrow's monologue. But I do also just want to mention really quickly, she mentions at the end of her thing that she's not going to bring up her husband who was lost now too. That's Antigonus, who was instructed to take the baby out into the forest. So he has been absent for this whole thing, for all of these interchanges, because he is taking a baby to its death. But Polina is also realizing that he's gone and, you know, sent out into the woods, whatever, you don't know what could happen to him. So that's just another pressure on her that she says she's not going to bring up anymore. She apologizes for all of it. And Leontes is going to respond in tomorrow's monologue. So I'll see you then for that. Mwah.